GPT-5 has just automated my least favorite area of our print-on-demand brand, and not only could I not be happier, it's now saving me over $1,000 per month. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly what we were spending that money on before, how GPT is able to replace it, and then how you can too using the free GPT that we've created just for you. Let's get started. So if you're anything like me, as you've been building your print-on-demand brand, you thought that in the beginning, customer service is your burden to bear. And can't really afford to outsource it to anybody else. You just have to naturally start spending a lot more time on it as things ramp up. And I thought the exact same thing. And I spent hours and hours per day answering customer service tickets and making sure that I was doing right by my customers. Meanwhile, the rest of my business was suffering because I was not able to spend the time necessary on designs, marketing, all the other areas of the business. Then phase two of that, I realized, okay, finally, I need to do something about this. I need to hire customer service rep, which is a big change for me. Then over time, there were some good like pros and cons of that. But the first con was that hiring multiple agents can be super expensive. You have to create really long SOPs. You end up having to hire through multiple before you find somebody who's actually trustworthy, cares about the brand, and cares about your customers the same way that you do. And there's lots of back and forth in the beginning, especially when you're training them. All in all, it leads to wasted money, a lot of SOPs not being followed, and just a lot of upset customers, which is not something we have to put up with anymore. So before this, you've probably tried copying like an email or something into ChatGPT and you get something pretty generic. Well, that's why what we've created is a GPT that has been custom trained specifically for print on demand related issues. It does not give generic replies and Everything we're looking at here is put into the GPT. So you can just listen along if you like, but you don't have to worry about understanding any of this. But this is what it's doing. It first diagnoses what's the type of issue from the email. And we literally copy paste these emails into the GPT for it to respond. Next, it's analyzing if the request is meeting the Printify requirements. So it has specific subject matter knowledge about what a Printify seller or order, like what their rules in terms of service are. And then it has clear follow-up instructions with the customer. So that's why this is so beautiful, is that it's not using ChatGPT like a tool. It's using it like you recruited somebody new onto your team, essentially. And so, you know, if you picture this is you, and then there's the customer and you guys are chatting, it's really like you've actually replaced yourself entirely and you have the GPT. All that you were doing, yes, you're still involved to an extent, but you were literally just copying and pasting back and forth. You were just strictly the middleman. So that does a number of things. It takes you from being able to answer, uh, not 60, I was going to say 60 emails in an hour. Definitely not. Maybe six, six emails an hour to at, when I did it, it at least double or tripled the amount of emails that I was able to respond to in a given hour. And the best part is that this is the insanely long prompt that's going into it, and you don't have to worry about any of that. So now let's see some examples of what this GPT is capable of. And it's called the WeScale Customer Service Assistant. You can get it completely for free just by clicking the link down below this video. And there's been some comments on previous videos about GPTs, about like, you know, this is why the Etsy market is flooded, talking about designs. Like the point of this is not talking about the ethics or morality of AI at all. I'm that's way above my pay grade. All that I'm here to do is show I've sold a lot of t-shirts here are AI ways to sell more t-shirts in my experience. That's it. So I, I appreciate everyone's opinion, but it's, it's lost here. So we scale CS assistant. Let's see some examples. So step one, take your customer email and you copy paste it into the GPT. Next, what it does is really important. Like we could just gloss over this, but what I want to really break down is the nuances. First thing it does is it builds rapport with the person, which the whole goal of customer service is not just to get it taken care of and handle the emails, but it's to build a relationship. It's to get that person to come back and buy from us again and again. So while yes, we could just answer this with one line, like, you know, uh, <laughs> I just thought of some really negative things to say to this customer. Uh, no, thank you. Not giving you a refund. There you go. Uh, but we don't want to, we don't want to do that. We want to build a relationship. So start off by acknowledging them and it does this again. And then it gives very clear and succinct instructions. It says what our action is going to be and then lets them know that if they have any questions, you can let us know and then loops back to the rapport again, which is just beautiful. The AI does this so much better than I do. <laughs> 
So here's another example. If this person wrote in saying, and this is the customer email, if they wrote in saying that they size doesn't fit, it breaks it down, builds or poor. Then here, the refund instructions, what I crossed out here is it's very common if you have a 30 day, just quick tip when it comes to customer service. If you have a 30 day money back guarantee, which I recommend, when somebody asks for a refund, never, ever, ever phrase it as, sorry, we don't accept returns. You, you do one better, you, way better. Tell them, we will absolutely make this right. We're going to ship you a brand new one today. And better yet, you don't even have to worry about shipping it back to us. We want you to find, like what we said on history tees was if it was size too small, we want you to find a pint size history buff to you know spread the history joy. I, I don't know, something like that. But we would say something like that. Opposed to what the GPT said here and critiquing our own GPTs, things that you can watch out for. So I want you guys to get the best results with this is while we don't accept returns or exchanges, like that makes it sound like we're setting them up for bad news. We don't want to do that. We we're doing a great thing. We want to reap the whole benefit of that. So anyway, moving on to the next one. I love the design, but it looks like part of the ink didn't press properly. So now we have a print issue. So again, it builds rapport. Thanks them for sharing the image. No need to send the original back. Feel free to keep it, gift it, or donate it in some way, someone who might enjoy it anyway. And then last one, I just found a shop. And here, this is a beautiful example. It's able to not only play defense for us, but also start playing offense for us. Like this person, for example, wrote in and asked two questions. Does your shirt like size question and shipping? And not only did it reply, but it made it super succinct and easy for them to follow along. And the whole point of this video is not necessarily just about, you know, look at the quality of the the outputs, but it's really reframing our thought process around customer service. These are people writing in for all different reasons, everything from order not received to wrong size to uh, I have questions before I place an order. It, it's able to handle literally everything. And now we're able to open our minds to see that the growth of our business does not need to be constrained by our ability to hammer out customer service tickets. Not at all. So what I recommend doing is click the link down below, grab this GPT completely for free. You just enter your email and then test out the next email that you get. And after three or four emails, you'll see that there's really no going back. You just bookmark this anytime you get an email. It's so easy to get into the routine of just, okay, I can just answer this one quickly. We want to set the precedent for ourselves that customer service time is using the GPT. I offload that so that we are able to reclaim all those hours to put it back into the most important area of the business. So if you like these kind of videos, appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.